baby bullheads. I got five of them. Gone. This is a, yeah, I do. This is a clown pleco. I don't know how big he's gonna get, but he's dope. He just chills in the cave, though. But he's like yellow and brown. It's really cool, though. There's another one. Their fins are all tattered because they're super territorial towards each other. Here's the bass, man. What's up, man? He's so dope. I feed him shrimp, minnows, tadpoles, anything that he'll eat in the wild, really. Got a couple live plants in here. Look at that territorial chasing each other off just to do it. You know, he's not even hungry. That's a big guy. He lives in the. He lives in that thing. So, you can imagine if he can solitarily hold down that whole bunker, he's, you know, he's somebody in the catfish world. Uh, we got a couple live plants in here that the catfish seem to love. Peep it. They're just laying there. They just lay. Oh, uh, there's this one too. It's a really tall one. And it grows so tall that, look, they love the plants. They love them. But it grows so tall that like one, two, three of the plants have shot up out of the water. This one sprouted and learned its lesson and he grew only to the water's level. That was supposed to be food, but of course he's not big enough yet. He's only about two inches and I got him at like, oh I caught him at like, I think I want to say like three fourths of an inch. It was on accident, but I was like, screw it. I know how to raise a bass, I've done it before. But uh, this tank's only temporary. Um, I have a uh, 50 gallon at my mom's that I'm gonna move them to next. And then I have a 75 gallon that I'm moving to after that. And after that, I'm gonna get a bigger tank for them. But that'll be a while. Cause although, these wild fish, they do grow very fast. Um, they don't grow that fast. So, that's what I'm feeding them. It's straight from the pond. Uh, it's a bunch of like mosquito fish or minnows, whatever you want to call them. Some ghost shrimp. And this is like bass food. The catfish will eat anything. There's a shrimp. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Come here. Nope. Nope. Where'd he go? Oh, they're they're clear and they're see through and they're such a pain if they fall on carpet or something. But you get to go back in the bucket because you wanted to be complicated and jump out of my hand. And I'm not risking you having a hair and feeding it to the bass. So I'll just get another little recipe book. Oh, that was a big shrimp. Yeah, this is gross, but oh well, all right? I think this is a minnow. Yes. So let's see if he's hungry. If he's hungry, we'll pretty much know right away. Just keep our eye on the minnow. Doesn't seem too interested in it. I did feed him earlier today already. Two shrimps, a couple minnow. They're, they're really like bottomless pits and I don't recommend getting one. I mean, unless you're like super dedicated. But again, it was by accident. And I remember how fun it was raising one before. So, and I really like bass as well. So I just figured why not. Made sure that uh, there's no artificial plants in here though. It's all, you know, fresh and healthy for them. And his tank mates are also like things from you know, your local stream around this area like this. Or or like pond, you know, like these guys. I actually caught all these by accident. I caught the catfish when I was searching for food for him. And I caught him when I was actually trying to catch like a like a couple of like lake I don't know what you call them, like lake tetras or something. They look like tetras, but they're like all gray. And I just wanted to put a couple of them in here because I caught a couple of them. They were so small that when I put them in there, they died. 
and then I found a school of them just chilling. So I tried to scoop them up, but they were too small for my net and went through. So then I scooped at this random like weed, like there was a random weed like on the pond's edge, scooped it, pulled it up, and I had a little like three fourth inch bass. And I was like, oh, it's been so long since I kept caught one of these. I have to take it home. As you can see, he's not happy in here anymore. So the new tank's gotta come soon. I'm just waiting to move out of this place and into where I'm gonna live next in like a month or two. So it won't be long. Um, and he'll have a nice new tank to grow more in. But yeah, I've literally had him probably like a what do you what do you, what do you say, baby? Like a month, month and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like three weeks, really? Yeah, they grow. They grow super fast, and they grow as fast as you feed them. But again, they need to be fed several times a day. Water's got to be good. Like there's no, there's no like any type of parasites or anything in this water. I take care of it. As I say that, we come across a chlorine spot on the tank. But you know, I take care of it as best as I can while. Bouncing out school and work and every other adult thing, you know, boring shit. But, yeah. It's that. I'll keep it updated as he grows. Oh, yeah, a tadpole. Look, didn't even get eaten. He smelled the algae tablet. Yeah, the catfish, though, they eat pretty much like any type of food you'd feed like a normal fish, as long as it stinks. And, uh,. Maybe it's got like a couple fish pieces in it, like this, this stuff, like this I usually keep because the guppy's in there and he's not being eaten yet. So actually it's a female, but it hasn't been eaten yet. So I figured it can't be cruel. Got to feed that too. That eats the flakes. Catfish love these. They love them. They go crazy over them. I'll feed them so They're just like little like discs. But I want to feed them like just a pinch because they do eat a lot for their size, but you definitely don't want to overfeed. So, like, you just watch, you'll see. They go crazy. The guppy also tries to get some until they all drop, and then she's like, you know what? I'm done with that. I'm not trying to get nipped at. So, just watch. Even this guy in the tree, just chilling, he'll smell it and go, yep. Look at him. So territorial. Look at him. Wait on it. Come on. Come on. Come on, funny. Munch, 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 munch. Go on. Go on. They just love him. They love him. So, yeah. Honestly, I'd, uh, these are, in my opinion, these are even harder to find. Because, like I said, I found a bass before. This is my first time finding baby bullheads. But if you found one of the two, I'd recommend keeping the bullhead over the bass, letting the bass go and flourish. Because these guys are so hardy, so easy to take care of. Like, they don't really require much. You know, they're, they're catfish. They're like bottom feeder. So pretty much anything you can buy from a pet store, they'll eat. Along him, on the other hand, he won't touch flakes. He won't touch pellets. Nothing artificial, it's gotta be alive and moving. And like, in order to do that, especially at a size like this, you have to catch the food, you know? And a lot of people wouldn't be willing to do that. So, definitely wouldn't recommend it. But, I mean, they are beautiful, just look at them. And he grows like more color every day. But yeah, he won't be in here long, so I'm sure, you know, people will be concerned about him being in a small tank but, you know, he'll be moved to a big one soon. And to get a grasp on how big he is, this is only a 14 gallon tank. Like, not a big tank. And, you know, look at him in there. So, this next move will be a 50 gallon, 55 gallon, I'm not sure which one it is. And then after that, 75 gallon, and after that, I'm gonna hopefully save up for like 100. 120 gallon, 150 gallon, maybe even 200 gallon, just because I like bigger fish. But yeah, that's it. Catfish.
Basman, Dogfish, not if you're not ready to, to be dedicated. I mean, like, I'm talking about like, this fish I care for it as if it is a dog or something. Like that's how much time it takes, you know? So, yeah. Subscribe, do me a favor, give me, give me your subscriptions. I will keep you updated on some cool fish stuff, all right? I promise, let me know. Yeah.